Hey guys, Zephanix here, and for those who know, or maybe not know, but now you're going to know, Steam has actually released a beta version of their brand new UI user interface for those who don't know. So I figured we'd go ahead and um, browse through it to see what it looks like. So basically over here, this is what, um, what it now looks like. As you see here at the top, the main systems are actually different now. Store, library, news, community up top, definitely looking different. But let's right now we're on a store page, let's look at this first. First of all, we have the way to search. Featured items, which is usually the first page, the genre, which we can choose different genres, demos, you know, a list of all the demos here on Steam, and videos. And we also, of course, can search by name. So here's the featured area where we can go, well, <clears throat> the main featured area where we can go ahead and look at different things that are actually on sale or just got on sale. Yeah, it looks like PC games are finally going to $59.99 now. Crap. <clears throat> Then we also got the spotlight located on the right hand side. The spotlight is usually the weekend deals, in which this case Spell Force series is actually 75% off until Monday. For a series, that's not bad. Right here on the community channel, you have how many gamers are currently online. As of right now, 100, excuse me, 1,703,000, no, 1,703,040 gamers are actually online right now. And also below here, it also tells you what some of your friends are actually doing or bought. For example, White Speed seems to have bought Wings and Prey recently, and so has Jetpack also buying Mountain Blade. And it looks like Chaotic bought Battlefield Bad Company too, the limited edition. So, on back on the left hand side, you have the featured games, which consist of many games that are actually featured here on Steam, including if you put the mouse over it, it gives you some information on it, such as a quick summary, the genre, the release date and the single, whether well, the single multiplayer, and last but not least, of course, which friends actually own this game. In this case, you see, um, looks like Wipespeed, once again, owns Batman Arkham Asylum. And it looks like Singus has Batman and Borderlands. So, let's scroll down a little bit more. Okay, on the right-hand side, you see games for under $10, and it shows how many games are actually under $10. That's actually pretty good. That's brand new in terms of showing how many games, in which they have 514 games under $10. And then over here, it shows you that they have 135 games under $5 that you can click on and choose. So that's actually pretty good. Right at the bottom here, you also have, once again, the specials. In this case, you see the Spell, uh, spell Force Platinum Edition and a different Spell Force Gold Edition Part 2 and Sp Spell Force Shadow Wars, both, all three for 75% off. Not bad. Seems to be other specials too. Featured partners. Let you know that you can actually send a game as a gift on Steam. And of course merchandise. Now, going back up a little bit here, you have the uh, new releases, top sellers coming soon. All here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sega All-Star Racing is coming out for the PC. I actually did not know that. Wow, interesting. Of course, the fun thing, of course, it says single player, but we all know that's not true. And no, for the record, it's not true. Here goes Dragon Age Origins coming out for um, on March. Dragon Age Origins Awakening coming out for March 6, 2010. That's actually pretty cool. Of course, like I said before, click here, you can see some specials. For example, Serious Sam's on special. And so, yeah, even though it looks different, for the most part, it is still the same. However, at the bottom here, you also have different um, videos here that you can do, that you can watch here. You also, of course, at the bottom have the latest demos. And once again, at the bottom, the new headlines have just come out. So now we've looked at all that. Let's go back to the top and look at the library scene. Now, the library scene basically is your library of your games that you currently own on Steam. So I, as you click on each one, you'll notice that the background actually changes. And they actually change no matter how many times you click on it. So, for example, see how the background changed again? So it actually looks pretty good. The ones that you have, of course, these are all the games that you bought. The ones that you have installed are highlighted, while the ones that you bought but don't have installed are darkened. So as you see, Left 4 Dead is actually still installed here. And, of course, you have over here, you can just click here to play it. Also, links over here in terms of achievements, related forums based on Left 4 Dead, related groups, rather, forums, and all that. Over here, you have the game information, uh, which friends of you um, 
which friends actually have this game, which a lot of one of my friends list has um, Left for Dead. At the bottom here, you have achievements, the achievements that you receive, as well as some that you haven't. I've actually received 24 achievements out of all um, out of the 68 achievements that's here. So this particular game has 712 achievements. I've only got 4% of that. So that's basically the case. Now you can click on Media Course, and you have your media right here, where you can just double click it right here, and it'll play. And for the most part, there's nothing new here. However, here's something actually new. This will allow you to go ahead and see like how fast your stuff is downloading. For example, let's click on games here. Let's go ahead and install Portal. So we've clicked to go ahead and install Portal. So Portal is going to take a little second to load. Basically, what it's doing right now, it's basically um, bringing forth the cache. So it has to make sure it has a spot able to go ahead and download too. So as you see right down here, it's actually going ahead and starting to download right here. Getting faster, of course. Click on download. Then you see right here, portal, play, and you see how it's the speed of which is downloading. There you go. How much you have now, how much you have total, how long it's going to take, time initiated that it started. And of course, uh, visual representation. So while it's doing that, let's go back here and let's go ahead to a game page. So let's go to Street Fighter 4. So you type in Street Fighter 4, and here's the games that come up. I have no idea why TMNT comes up, but whatever. So I'll click on the game Street Fighter 4, and this is what it looks like here. Now, mind you, this is a beta, so the background most likely will be stretched and probably faded or whatever they do. Um, right here, it tells you what the game is. Over on the right-hand side, of course, it has a little bit of a uh, synopsis on what the game is about. Then you have the genre, the release date, screenshots, and <clears throat> all the HD videos that come with it. And of course, you have here a, <clears throat> a video representation of what's going on within the game. That's actually pretty cool. Screenshots, like I said, are right here. Let's see if this changed. Okay, this actually has changed too. So now you can see the screenshots within its own little thing here. Which is funny too because the game actually looks a lot better than that. And and you have here buy Street Fighter 4, the um, you know, where you can buy it, how much it costs, where you buy it at, community over here, these things for the communities, you know, as well as people who have owned this game. Uh, a much bigger synopsis on the right hand side and here's the game details over here single player multiplayer controller enable blah 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 and over here you got the system requirements and of course down here you got recommended games if you like that game you'll love this game now for some reason I can't explain to you why if you like this game you would like any of these games but whatever's whatever I'm here to show you not to make it make any sense so there you go for the most part that's pretty much all that the beta has to offer also, just want to let you know at the bottom here, I'm not sure if you notice this, but at the bottom here it says one item downloading and it tells you how long. So it's a little bit of a um, systems bar always here showing you how long it's going to take your particular item to download. So there you go. That's what Steam is, all, um, is looking for right now. That's what it looks like right now. And of course, everything else hasn't changed here. Here's the community page, um, my, con my particular community page, of course, right here. Everything's looking the same. And you can actually go ahead to the uh, clan pages or group pages, whatever you want to call it. Can't believe I'm still connected to this particular clan. And announcements for the clan, upcoming events for the clan, everything is still here. You know, in fact, this is the old version. So that's pretty much what it looks like. So right now, give me your opinion. What do you guys think? You guys think the new Steam is coming out to look pretty good, or do you think it's just going to be pretty bad? You guys have a good night. Zaf is out.